that there was uh, somebody shared as a joke they shared that louder as a joke somebody shared on saying that we uh, all know the son of the Prophet Ibrahim al -Islam, that he wanted to that he cut his son but we should also think about the that he's left his wife in the desert and they shared this as a joke and I, I, I just I, I told them that you know this is a dangerous situation we are very not aggressively just very kind of nice guess and this is it's not good to make fun of these things because we are talking about our faith uh -huh. so things have come to the situation sure where I mean that's nothing there were scholars, Muslim scholars, feminist Muslim scholars, that millions are following, who are saying, Hazrat Ibrahim is the deadbeat. You know, what deadbeat? How you can translate? Huh? How you translate that, Brian? Deadbeat. Yeah. What is a deadbeat? How you translate a deadbeat? Yeah? Right. A loser, irresponsible. Doesn't carry his responsibility. That is a meaning. No, repeat things to me. Listen carefully what I'm asking. Saying Hazrat Ibrahim Halilullah. Saying that he is a uh, astaghfirullah, hasha. Uh, irresponsible, lazy, loser because he left his wife and his kid. Uh, so many are following. They say, yeah, that's right. You understand? Because there's no more fear of Allah. Fear of Allah. <laughs> Who is saying that? Oh, don't say about fear of Allah. We become Christian like that. Oh, don't know. Love of Allah always. Love, love, love. Love, love. Love, don't judge. MashaAllah. No sharia. There's no sharia. They can say that openly. So that's why people can say this. We become worse than the Jews and the Christians. In the past, only to say something like that, oof. Openly, oof, oof, oof. People would not even imagine to say. That's why they say, they don't say Abraham. They say Ibrahim alayhi salam, Hazrati Ibrahim alayhi salam, Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. You have to give. But today we've all been infected by this Wahhabism, by this, because we just, there's no respect, there's no fear. There's no consequence. Because Allah lets the batil to rule for a while, they say, oh, we can commit so many wrong things, nothing is coming to us. We can commit all these things, there's no punishment raining from the skies, from the earth. Yeah. This world is paradise, right? This world is paradise right now. When everything that you're touching is poison, it's paradise right now. But they're not seeing it. Either way, they're not seeing it. So of course they're going to say things like that. Don't have any ounce, any ounce of tolerance for wrong things like that. No, you cannot. Because the fire that they have will reach to you no matter how religious you are, how good you are. You have an ounce of love for the batil, the fire is going to reach to you. So we turn our faces. We cannot say anything. We cannot change it with our hands. We can say something, say something. You cannot say something, change it with your heart. Don't ha, 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 ha. laugh with it also. Hey, it's okay. Say astaghfirullah. Because definitely the curse of Allah is on those. Halilullah. Eh? Astaghfirullah. The one that when Nimrud was building the fire and he command everyone and everything to bring wood and to put it there. That every animal was bringing water. Every animal was bringing water to put it out. And they were all crying because if the angels in the skies, in the heavens, they're crying for Halilullah, one friend of Allah, in the whole world at that time, one friend. If the angels are crying, you think the whole earth is not going to cry? Even fire was afraid, but it was given a command. That one, that one he was, he was only asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that he's saying Allah is watching me. The help is not through these angels. 
The angels themselves offered to help. He knows the difference. The angels wanted to help. It's, he knows the difference between he is a friend of Allah. He knows whether his friend is helping him or other people are helping him. Do you understand? And he knows if his friend wants to help, he says, if my friend wants to help, he will help. And he's given the choice to you, and he's given the choice to me. And I want my friend to help. So what happened now? Ibrahim Alilullah, the one who has already put that fire inside of him. He has burned himself, he has burned his, his self. You understand? And now, inside of that fire now, where he has burned his nafs, he's only bringing that garden to the middle of the physical fire. And then what happens? The nightingale, with a drop of water in his mouth, because he loved Hazrat Ibrahim so much, he just threw himself into the fire. And when he threw himself into the fire, he thought he was going to burn, but he woke up and he saw that he is in the middle of a garden on a rose bush. And then Allah made it to sing the 99 names of Allah, the Ismail Husna. And it starts singing from that time until now, which is why the nightingale, the bulbul, is very important for us. Because in its language, it is singing the Ismail Husna. People are not speaking about these things that makes their faith to grow strong. They, make, they teach the people Islam that makes doubt and confusion to enter into their hearts. Stick with tajwid, stick with fiqh, st stick with all these kinds of things that it's only intellectual. Hmm, I think it's like this. I think it's not hitting your heart to say this is to have an understanding, a little smell of coming from paradise. That one. Hazrat Ibrahim So, it is happening today. We should be aware. Because we're not living in paradise. We should be aware of what is the fire so that it doesn't reach to us. If you don't, the fire is going to reach to you. You don't even know it's fire. People are very careful. They want to eat only organic. Hmm? You see, I don't want to eat anything that's processed, that's chemical, that it enters into... Are you thinking what is entering into your heart and from where, from whom? Who is speaking? You're reading something. Where is it coming from? So those ones, they're only bringing fire to themselves. They think they're building a garden, but they're only making a fire to themselves. So... That one, that Ibrahim alayhi salam, he asked for a son. For what? We ask for sons because we want someone to play with. <laughs> we ask for a son so that he can continue our lineage. To be proud. He is not asking for children, for sons that way. He's asking for a son because he says, if I go, what's going to happen to the message? And in his old age, And you see the connection there between Hazrat Ibrahim. And you see the connection there with Hazrat Zakaria too. And then connecting there to the Holy Prophet. Yeah. Because the sacrifice of Ismail, السلام, that when Allah grant him the son to continue that and Allah test him, the most thing that you love most, cut him. And he cut, he cut, 70 times he cut, but the knife did not cut. Just as the fire did not burn, the knife did not cut. Ismail alayhi salam, being the grandfather of the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, that in the Prophet Salam's father, there was also the demand that when his grandfather asked for a son, saying, if he grants me a son, 
uh, will sacrifice. You sacrifice hundreds, thousands, Arabian horses, oxen, everything. Says no, you have to sacrifice your son. That one. That the Holy Prophet lay said to us, Salam then was also born from this. Understand? We are the Ummat. <coughs> the person should be saying, it is a sunnat of Ibrahim salam to sacrifice everything himself, to throw it into the fire, to sacrifice his beloved wife, and to sacrifice his beloved son for the sake of Allah. And it is a sunnat then for the sons and the wives and the children of believers to run in the way of Allah. And that has been the sunnah of 1300 years of believers. That's why it's not a, this world doesn't hold them because they're looking to the ahirat because these are their role models. We are the millet of Ibrahim alayhi salam. We are continuing the tradition that 70,000 prophets coming from Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, the nations of those 70,000 prophets, they dropped. They dropped. The shawwa that we're wearing, there is a tradition of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. They dropped. To sacrifice in the Kaaba, they're supposed to do it. Hmm? Some way, somehow, it is still continuing. So many other things that we need to say. Man, people are not ready. So we cannot so much. There is a strong connection there to then to the events of the Ahir Zaman. May Allah wake us up. Forgive us, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.